Hi, I'm Steve Smith from Edgemont Precision Rebuilders in Cambridge. We rebuild controls here and we sell new. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit, show you a few things on a Johnson T4002 thermostat. Mine is direct acting, and as you know, that means with a rise in temperature, you should see a rise in pressure. We're going to calibrate this today to 8 pounds at room temperature. Uh, at 8 pounds, it means that the normal normally open heating valve, which has a range of maybe 2 to 7 pounds or 3 to 8 pounds, is going to be just closed when we hit it to 8 pounds at room temperature. So I have my test board, and in my test board, teed into my branch line, I have an actuator here because, as you know, the main function of the thermostat, aside from knowing what the temperature is, is to respond. An actuator doesn't bleed, it's got to bleed through the thermostat. So if your thermostat, once you're calibrated, can't handle the volume or the bleed rate, you know that you have a problem. There's other problems you can have, but certainly that's a big problem, and it's a, a big reason we see controls come into us for repair. So I have my thermostat already hooked up uh, on a Johnson control. If you're vertically mounted, it's the top connect, or the bottom connection is the supply. The top one is the branch. So I'm going to check my temperature. The most accurate is to use this, which is now reading 72 degrees, 72.6 and dropping. You'll see that my hand temperature is over 90 degrees. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. The more you handle these, the more you're affecting it, and you may even want to come back after you calibrate it once to recheck it. I also wanted to point out the sensitivity on the Johnson T4002. This line here, the bottom one, if you can see it at all, it's difficult to see, is the standard Johnson factory setting, which is the most sensitive. If you want it less sensitive, you move it up to one of these settings. Uh, the thing to keep in mind is every time you change a sensitivity, you have to recalibrate the control. So, I'm going to uh, remove the cap. This happens to be the newer style cap with a hypodermic needle, where a needle will go into that, and then that would connect to tubing, and then that would connect to a gauge. I'm using the, quote, old style that fits either style cap because it's threaded. I'm going to remove this. And the threaded gauge adapter is going to fit right in there. You can hear I do have branch pressure once I've taken that out. I'm going to just ease this in there just tight enough so I don't have a leak. You don't want to over tighten these because you'll, you'll strip the threads and then you won't be able to have a good seal with your branch cap. So there's my gauge. Here's my dial. I get full pressure, it bleeds fully, so I know I don't have a, a bleed or a, a build-up pressure, so I have something to work with here. I'll turn it to 72 degrees, and I want to be between 8 and 9 pounds, which is where I am. I'm just about 9 pounds. Also, though, if I set this down, you'll probably see that that pressure is going to start to fall because with my hand out of the picture, the thermostat is gradually starting to cool to room temperature. So what I'm saying is you should check it. I'm at 7 pounds now. I need to go up a little bit. Unfortunately, you do have to handle these somewhat. But there, I've, I've recalibrated it. I think we're good there. And uh, if you have any questions on these, certainly give us a call. So that's it for today. I'm Steve Smith from Edgemont Precision Rebuilders. Thanks for joining us.